After World War II, an unexpected pair, Ruth and Elliot Handler, began a groundbreaking journey that would redefine playtime. These visionaries, who grew up in modest circumstances, embarked on a path that would forever shape the future of the toy industry. Ruth and Elliot's early years were marked by a stark contrast to the opulence and abundance that would later define the toys they created. These formative experiences instilled in them a sense of resilience and an unwavering curiosity about the world around them. They were children of their time, growing up amidst the shadows of war and the hopes for a brighter future. It was this unique blend of humility, curiosity, and determination that would set them on an extraordinary path destined to forever alter the world of play. Ruth's parents had emigrated from Poland, bringing with them the enduring spirit of perseverance. Her upbringing was colored by stories of resilience in the face of adversity, instilling in her a deep appreciation for the opportunities that life in America offered. Elliot, on the other hand, spent his childhood in the modest neighborhoods of Denver, Colorado. He too learned firsthand the value of hard work and the pursuit of dreams. These shared values formed the bedrock of Ruth and Elliot's character. Their families, despite limited means, championed the belief that hard work and determination could pave the way for a brighter future. These formative experiences laid the foundation for the handler's unwavering commitment to their vision. In times of challenge and hardship, the values instilled in them by their families served as guiding lights, propelling them forward in their quest to redefine play for generations to come. Amid the post-war turbulence of the 1940s, the handler's remarkable creativity and insatiable curiosity began to shine. In a world still grappling with the consequences of war, they saw not just adversity, but an opportunity to reshape the realm of toys and play. This was the crucible where the seeds of their groundbreaking ideas began to take root. The handlers, ever attuned to the changing world around them, recognized a unique chance to be part of a transformative period. Their innate curiosity served as a driving force, propelling them to reimagine what toys could be. The handlers found themselves living witnesses to a world in rapid transformation, and they were determined to contribute to this change. This became the foundation for their future endeavors, setting the stage for the innovative and imaginative creations that would follow. Transitioning into the business world marked a pivotal moment for the handlers. They faced the formidable challenge of establishing themselves in a highly competitive market. In the early 1950s, they took the bold step of founding Mattel, initially a company that specialized in picture frames. These modest beginnings underscored their ambition and audacity. Armed with little more than their inventive spirit and an unyielding determination, they ventured into uncharted territory. The handlers shared a profound vision of what toys could become. Their early days of entrepreneurship were a testament to their readiness to embrace risks and confront the myriad challenges that awaited them. They were pioneers in the truest sense, charting a course in unexplored territory with innovation as their compass. Mattel's inception was a bold declaration of their intent to redefine playtime, and it laid the foundation for their journey of transformative creativity. Ruth and Elliot's path was one of relentless innovation. With an innate understanding of what children desired, they steered Mattel towards unparalleled success. Their early creations, such as the Yuka Doodle and the Burp Gun, hinted at their ability to transcend conventional boundaries. This journey was marked by sheer determination and an unwavering commitment to their vision. Their unique talent for crafting toys that not only entertained but also delighted children thrust Mattel into the public eye. The handler's remarkable journey was, however, punctuated by a series of formidable setbacks that would have discouraged most aspiring entrepreneurs. These challenges, both financial and operational, tested the handler's mettle and forced them to dig deeper into their reserves of determination and ingenuity. Financial woes loomed large over their early endeavors. As they ventured into the toy business, capital was often scarce and resources were stretched thin. There were moments when it seemed like their dreams were held hostage by the constraints of limited funding. These financial struggles threatened to derail their vision, but the handlers refused to yield. Operational setbacks added another layer of complexity to their journey. Manufacturing and distribution hurdles, production delays, and supply chain issues were constant companions. These challenges could have easily derailed their fledgling business, but the handlers' resilience was unwavering. They approached each setback as an opportunity to innovate and refine their processes. This period was more than just a chapter in their journey. It was a crucible of creativity and a haven for incubating revolutionary ideas. 
The handlers had an innate ability to capture the imagination of children, turning everyday objects into sources of wonder. Their knack for innovation and their dedication to fostering the joy of play set the stage for their most groundbreaking creation yet, a creation that would leave an indelible mark on the world of toys and beyond. In the late 1950s, as Ruth and Elliot Handler's vision crystallized, they sought to create a toy that would encapsulate the aspirations and dreams of young girls. It was during a family vacation in Switzerland that Ruth stumbled upon a revelation. While touring the Swiss city of Lucerne, she encountered a display of adult-sized fashion dolls in a shop window. These dolls were unlike anything she had seen before, exuding an air of sophistication and style that was absent from the dolls of the time. Inspiration struck Ruth Handler like lightning. She envisioned a fashion doll that would become a timeless companion to girls worldwide, one that could transform and adapt to a myriad of roles and scenarios. This vision would soon become a reality, and the iconic Barbie was born. To bring Barbie to life, Ruth and Elliot Handler knew they had to defy convention and navigate uncharted waters within the toy industry. They possessed the audacity to embrace creative risks and challenge established norms. Their vision and courage laid the foundation for Barbie's legendary debut, setting a new standard for dolls and playtime. With the introduction of Barbie in 1959, Ruth and Elliot Handler's creation would forever change the landscape of the toy industry. Barbie was a revelation, a fashion-forward, independent, and endlessly versatile doll that defied convention. She wasn't just a toy, she was a reflection of a changing world. Barbie quickly became a cultural phenomenon, capturing the imaginations of children and adults alike. Her wardrobe expanded to include a dazzling array of outfits, each a testament to the ever-evolving world of fashion. Barbie was not just a doll, she was an aspirational figure, a symbol of endless possibilities. She encouraged young girls to dream big, explore various careers, and chart their own destinies. As the handlers watched their creation soar to unprecedented heights of popularity, they remained committed to the ideals that had guided them from the start. Barbie wasn't just about play, she was about empowerment. She became a role model for young girls, showing them that they could be anything they wanted to be, a doctor, an astronaut, a teacher, or a CEO. Yet the journey of Ruth and Elliot Handler was not without its share of challenges. They faced criticism and controversy, with some questioning whether Barbie's idealized physique and lifestyle were setting unrealistic standards for young girls. The handlers responded by introducing a more diverse range of Barbie dolls, acknowledging the importance of inclusivity and representation. Throughout the years, they continued to innovate, introducing new Barbie careers and accessories that reflected the changing times. Barbie's world expanded to include friends and family, creating a rich tapestry of storytelling possibilities. The handlers were determined to keep Barbie relevant, ensuring that she remained a reflection of the aspirations and dreams of each generation of children. The handlers' journey was characterized by perpetual innovation, recognizing that the toy industry was dynamic and always evolving to meet the changing desires of children. Ruth and Elliot Handler remained at the forefront of creative exploration. While Barbie stood as their iconic creation, they continued to introduce a diverse array of new toys and games that stretched the boundaries of imagination and ingenuity. Their dedication to fostering the joy of play was unwavering, and their willingness to innovate knew no bounds. Each new creation was a testament to their enduring commitment to bringing joy and inspiration to children's lives. This chapter showcases their relentless pursuit of innovation and their profound influence on the ever-evolving world of toys. Today, the enduring legacy of Ruth and Elliot Handler continues to inspire, touching the hearts of those who grew up with Barbie and the array of toys they brought to life. Their visionary zeal and unwavering commitment to innovation ignited a revolution within the toy industry. Their journey stands as an everlasting testament to the profound truth that dreams, fueled by determination and creativity, possess the power to reshape our world. Join us in celebrating the remarkable odyssey of Ruth and Elliot Handler, Please support our channel by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video as we share the uplifting tales of individuals who transformed humble beginnings into extraordinary legacies. Stay connected for more stories of remarkable triumphs. The legacy of Ruth and Elliot Handler continues to kindle inspiration, reminding us that innovation knows no boundaries and dreams remain the catalyst for transformative change.